hello guys welcome back so today i am going to talk about this uh, wpsd api authentication so basically uh, wordpress provides uh, this uh, get request for example post categories users all those get methods or get request are unauthenticated basically in in, in general case unless you uh, you yourself uh, provide some authentication on, on, on specific endpoints uh, it is by default uh, they are unauthenticated and they don't require any username password or any token but uh, what if uh, you want to create post or something uh, you, you want to add something on w uh, with the help of wpsd api and in that case you need some sort of authentication uh, all the post request all the updates and uh, all the delete methods they are authenticated so in order to achieve that that thing basically to do the update or change the contents we need authentication so there are there are many options you can take help of some plugins uh, and uh, um, and gen- and provide tokens and do to some sort of things but one of the simplest and then basic thing simplest easiest and uh, you don't need anything else for that so we can we can achieve um, this uh, authentication with the help of a password so let's go to the dashboard and then go to users and then you can add a new user or some, something like for for rest api i have this uh, default user so i'll go to um, this profile is i have already generated this a password so go to go go, go here you can generate a password i am also going to generate a password let me rename it and uh, wp and rest api test okay i want to generate it so this is the a password and i have generated for the same user now i am going to um, ob- access this from this uh, insomnia you can use in any any of the tools like postman and just uh, select this authentication method at basic and then provide username and then i want to replace this uh, existing token with this new password a password so and then let me call the apis okay let me change the contents wp post and uh, wp rest api test mm-hmm. okay Okay. Type for WP test API test from a pass or authentication. Okay, I made this. Let me this as well and then publish it. Publish it. If you do this, then new. Uh, okay, new uh, new post has been added. Let me query this. Uh, 991. WP from a password. This is log, and then this is the content. The status is published. Type is post. So this is how okay, we can see for the here for 991 okay this is the post we have added wp rest api test from a password authentication so this is how we can authenticate and this is same for the graphql request as well if you haven't if you are wondering and curious how we can make graphql request then go to my previous video of uh, wp graphql integration and i have um, described everything there and if you want to create post for example you have to use mutation on that case if you want to create this post then uh, you, you have to sorry not the status you have to use this mutation all the mutations can be found in this schema and then show documentation and go to mute group mutation you can found everything here so and then let me add status publish uh, if you if you are only using this uh, this api then you can skip this part but just 
just for this uh, just for your information uh, you, you, you can also uh, make use of this one this is graphql API okay so I, I have updated this password let me request so new post uh, should be created new post is this one let me paste all the post okay this is how we make um, this is the one we have uh, we have created and this is the date and published by this user Sheldon Cooper and then <coughs> and then this, this this is the avatar URL we need this on um, listing right and this is how we can <coughs> make use of this um, a password in WordPress and this is the simplest and e easiest approach, uh, approach. I have uh, <coughs> I'm known so far in WP ecosystem okay guys um, that's all I think this will be enough if you face any, any problems uh, while integrating anything like uh, WP REST API or WP GraphQL let me know in the comment section okay until next time bye bye